Good evening, everybody. An educated economist here. So just recently, I had done a video talking about breweries in the Portland area and how a lot of these guys are shutting their doors down after many years of being in business. And the main reason they were given for this is the uh, influx of uh, competition that has come to the uh, to the microbrew industry in the area. And so, like the moment you have a bit of a downturn and people are looking to save money, what's the first thing they're going to do? They're going to cut out on their luxury items, and I'd imagine fancy beers is probably going to be one of them. So a lot of these breweries are shutting down their restaurant portion if they didn't shut down the whole brewery itself. And I saw kind of the same thing happening inside of the uh, marijuana industry as well. As a lot of these uh, marijuana farmers, the first couple of years that the state was legal, they made a lot of money and the influx of farmers ended up bringing in a, over a million pounds of excess marijuana, which just caused the price of uh, weed to just plummet, right? So a lot of these guys were, you know, who were expecting these massive gains ended up barely breaking even if they didn't end up going out of business altogether. So I found this little section coming out of the Beige Book. Um, this is the uh, Federal Reserve uh, Beige Book, which is kind of like a summary of all the different regions, um, how they feel their little industries are doing. So they kind of give you a little breakdown of all their different industries for each region. And anyway, coming out of Massachusetts, they have a little section here, and he's talking about the restaurants, right? And it sounded so familiar to the breweries. Listen to this. A contact in the Massachusetts restaurant industry reported that based on meal tax receipts, restaurant sales were up 5.4% year over year in January. However, these overall results were largely driven by new entrants as established locations reported sales ranging from flat to down or up 1%. Such, lack, such lackluster performance, higher operating costs and acute labor shortages and higher labor costs increased. Uh, have prompted recent restaurant closings by some experienced and high-profile operators. Given the greater competition from the proliferation of restaurants, operators are reluctant to raise menu prices to cover their higher costs. Despite the threat of more closings, aggregate expectations for Massachusetts restaurant industry in 2019 are positive. Yeah, well, we'll see about that. Um, but it just, you know, it just so much reminds me of that story of the breweries. He says right there, you know, these well-established operators are shutting down their doors because they just can't meet the competition from all the influx of new people who are opening restaurants in the area. And, um, you know, I kind of saw something similar to that happen back, you know, when coffee got real, real big up here in the area. There was a million little drive through coffee stands all over the county that you could drive through and now there's just really a handful around most of the people have shifted their coffee uh, purchasings to to like sit down places where it's become more of a social event instead of like the grab and go coffee thing anyway I found that really interesting and I thought I'd share it with you guys all right uneducated economist talk to you later